Hello world from Oakland, California. I am loving this town. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people have been asking me where to go as their first solo travel trip. Well, I'm going to share with you. I did one a couple of years ago. Um, but I've been asked so many times that I think an update is in order. So I'm going to give you the um, at least five ideas on countries that I've been to solo, which were particularly um, suited for being by yourself. So the first one that comes to mind is Italy. Italy and Sicily both. Oh my gosh. Um, people are so friendly. The food and wine is so great. Easy to get around don't have to rent a car. Um, <clears throat> and then in Florence, I went to a meetup and met some amazing people. Anna and Giulio, you know who you are. Um, so now I have real friends in Florence. And I would never have met them if I didn't go by myself because it tends to be when you go with somebody else that you focus all your energy on them, which is great fun too. Um, but being solo, you get to experience things firsthand in this new environment where you're constantly growing and changing and finding yourself in a new way. Sorry about the thumb. Um, and then let's see, Cambodia comes to mind. It's really uh, an exotic country, very friendly people. Angkor Wat is there, um, the largest religious monument in the world. Siem Reap is a very rockin' town where Angkor Wat is, and there's beaches and mountains and amazing coffee. The next one I can think of is Bali. That is a very easy place to go. Um, that was actually my first major country I went to by myself, because they don't count Mexico. Um, Bali, you have to cross a lot of ocean in the Pacific and um, it's a completely different culture than what uh, most anybody in the first world is used to uh, and it's easy and it feels really safe I went the first time in 2006 right after that big bombing um, and I got advised not to go but you know what the tourism was so down that it was great um, got some good deals Stayed there for about a month. And then the next time I went was in 2010, which was wonderful. And I've been wanting to go back for nine years. But uh, now I'm more focused on the Mediterranean Sea area, which I really love. Um, okay, so those two and uh, three. Next one that, you know, Lao keeps coming up. L-A-O-S. Um, it's more kind of rural feeling than Thailand, and um, because it's a communist country that's just kind of recently started with tourism, there's a nice, uh, more uh, natural kind of feel to it. Thailand is very much set up for tourism because they make so much money off of people coming from Europe and the United States. So... <clears throat> Lao is more uh, off the radar. And then, now these are for your first time. This is first time, so I'm not going to suggest India. Um, more, country, more countries there are a little more challenging to do by yourself. Highly recommend going when you've got some solo trips under your belt. And uh, But then, you know, a lot of people could deal with it. It's just that I'm making it recommendation as a first time solo traveler. Okay. Uh, you know, anywhere in Europe would be fine. Anywhere that I've been. Uh, Spain, that's wonderful. Um, and those really are the only two countries. Oh, England, easy, easy peasy. Um, let's see, what else? Because they speak English, and I love the words they use for certain things that we never use in United States English. Oh, when we totally forgot about South America. Now, I really liked Argentina. I gotta recommend that because I felt safe. It felt like, um, sort of like Europe in a way. People were nice, lots of meat. 
um, lots of tango. Um, but if you go to the wine country in the different parts besides Buenos Aires, I went to Salta and Mendoza and Iguazu Falls. Iguazu Falls, oh my God, beautiful. Um, it's spectacular. So I went by myself. And then let's have one more selection. I thought of Colombia. Uh, and I spent a month there and that was wonderful. But now I'm thinking I'd like to recommend Peru. Because if you, I spent five weeks in Peru. I went to the North Coast uh, surf villages. And I also went to Machu Picchu and Lima for a few days, which was nice because I was pretty sick and I needed to recover from very long bus trips. Uh, and then I flew from Lima to Cusco. Cusco is a wonderful town and I think you'll like it a lot. It's really set up for tourism. Uh, you feel pretty safe there. Um, you can stay in the main, near the main square. And I, I uh, thank you Linda Stice for recommending that wonderful uh, bed and breakfast place for $5 a night. You don't have your own bathroom, bathroom but so what? Um, I had my own bedroom, it was quiet. I could make some eggs in the morning. She let me use the kitchen um, in the mornings and I really appreciated that. I felt like I was living in a real neighborhood. So those are my recommendations. Uh, down below, tell me what your favorite countries that you traveled solo to or if you have advice from um, your own experiences. I'd love to hear it. So. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the subscribes. I'm almost to 3,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it. It's really fun to be with you on YouTube and talk with you and um, live your best life. I'll be talking to you real soon in the next video.